Okay, so here in this video, we want to set out a reverse calendar spread. Uh, previously, we had uh, used uh, a number of a, a, a short call with a lower uh, expiration or shorter expiration date uh, or a closer expiration date and a long position uh, in a call with a longer uh, maturity. And then the combination yielded this strategy where we seem to maximize profits as the asset price converged to the exercise. Now we want to, in this instance, um, create a reverse calendar spread again using calls. And that simply just involves reversing the long and the short position. So we have a long position, long position and uh, and we have a short position and we need to flip those over. So the simplest thing here is to um, move copy, then come down to our calendar spread and then create a copy. And the virtue in this is we have a graph and that reflects the numbers that's in the same worksheet. Other, if we copy, do straight copy and paste, then the chart is linked back to the previous worksheet's uh, cells, which we don't, it's not uh, convenient. Okay, so uh, just to be clear, it's a reverse calendar, right? And in the reverse calendar, uh, we're just flipping over. So very simply, all we will uh, do here is uh, instead of having a short call position, we'll make that long. So we'll just remove the negative here and then we drag down and you'll see the graph flip over. Okay, so this has obviously flipped over to blue. And then on the other side, we just make the payoff negative, right, negative. And the double negative then becomes a positive. Oops, that's the wrong one. This one. Okay, so uh, the, the double negative becomes positive. So we flipped over and you can see um, that now we've turned, we've reversed the position. We've reversed, we have a reverse calendar spread um, and we can compare with what we had before with the previously, this was the long calendar spread where we maximize profits as the asset price converged to the exercise. But the, with the reverse calendar spread, we minimize or we take the biggest loss here as the asset price converges to the exercise, but otherwise we're making money, right? Uh, when we go further out, um, we make uh, greater profits as the asset price moves away from the exercise. Now, the volatility, if the dividend uh, becomes positive, then we can accentuate uh, greater profitability on this side. If you put the volatility, the uh, dividend to 5%, you can see we get a little bit more lift over on this side. Uh, and so we have a positive region, a negative region, and then back again to a positive region. Uh, if you're uh, watching this video uh, for the first time, have a look at the previous video where I set out the calendar spread and I'll leave a hyperlink below where you can find that.